the Columbia Workshop, under the direction of William N. Robeson, present Melodrama with David Ross and the Symphony Orchestra, under the direction of Bernard Herman. It is the desire of the Columbia Workshop to experiment with the dimensions and possibilities of the very new art which it serves, the art of radio broadcasting. For nearly two years, we have presented to you, the listener, who are the very essential half of our experimental test tube, a variety of broadcasts which have probed into problems of sound effects, of acoustical perspectives, of vocal rhythms, of verse and prose plays written for the microphone. Tonight, the workshop has invited one of its most valued colleagues to present an experiment of his own. He is the man whose capable hands have week after week created moods, set the oral scene, and stimulated your imagination with the magic of the original orchestral scores he has composed for the workshop's radio plays. He is Bernard Herman, musical director of the Columbia Workshop. David Ross, known to millions of American listeners for his Poets' Gold broadcast, will collaborate in the presentation of tonight's experiment. Mr. Herman tonight presents to the workshop audience an experiment in the presentation of poetry and music, which he has called melodrama derived from the Greek words for song and drama. This term is not to be confused with the word melodrama, in which highly colored incidents are presented in dialogue form. In the melodramas you are about to hear, the music composed by Mr. Herman has been inspired by the poems which will be read by Mr. Ross, much in the manner in which a song or an opera is created. Among the poems you will hear are Keats, La Belle Dame Sans Merci, Selections from A. E. Hausman's A Shropshire Lad and The City of Brass from The Arabian Nights. For their first melodrama, Mr. Herman and Mr. Ross present an ancient Chinese poem, The Willow Leaf. This is the most primitive form of melodrama in which the simple orchestral treatment of woodwinds, percussion instruments, harp, and chalets weaves a rag fragile silk frame upon which David Ross paints the subtle hues of the willow leaf. I am in love with a child dreaming at the window, not for her elaborate house on the banks of Yellow River, but for a willow leaf she has let fall into the water. I am in love with the east breeze, not that he brings the scent of the flowering of peaches white on eastern hills, but that he has drifted the willow leaf against my boat. I am in love with the willow leaf, not that he speaks of green spring coming to us again, but that the dreaming girl etched a name with her embroidery needle, and the name is mine. I am in love with a child dreaming at the window. From the thin book of poems, The Shropshire Lad, by the late A.E. Hausman, David Ross has selected three poems. Reveille, When I Was One and Twenty, and With Rue My Heart Is Laden. Bernard Herman has combined these three into one melodrama which expresses the life of a man from his adolescence, through his youth, to his old age. In this melodrama, the music is based on the tone scales of the English folk tune, and no attempt is made to follow specifically, word for word, the action of the verse.
silver dusk returning up the beach of darkness brim and the ship of sunrise burning strands upon the eastern rim. Up, lad, up, tis late for lying. Hear the drums of morning play. Hark, the empty highways crying. Who'll be on the hills away? Up, lad, up. Hues that lie and cumber, sunlit palettes never thrive. Morns of bed and daylight slumber were not meant for man alive. Clay lies still, but bloods are over, breaths aware that will not keep. Up, lad, when the journey's over, there'll be time enough to sleep. When I was one and twenty, I heard a wise man say, Give crowns and pounds and guineas, but not your heart away. Give pearls away and rubies, but keep your fancy free. But I was one and twenty, no use to talk to me. When I was one and twenty, I heard him say again, the heart out of the bosom was never given in vain. Tis paid with sighs of plenty and sold for endless rule. And I am two and twenty, and oh, tis true, tis true. With rue my heart is laden, for golden friends I had, for many a rose-lipped maiden, and many a light-foot lad. By brooks too broad for leaping, the light-foot boys are laid. The rose-lipped girls are sleeping in fields where roses fade.
You are listening to the Columbia Workshop's presentation of Melodrums, a musical experiment involving a symphony orchestra under the direction of Bernard Herrmann and poetry read by David Ross. In the Melodrums you have heard thus far, the music has been of a broad and general nature, reflecting and augmenting the poem, but of sufficient independent construction to be played by itself. Entering now into the problem of more complicated melodrums, the music becomes inseparable from the poem and follows the action word by word. For this more difficult example, Mr. Herman has selected John Keats' ballad, La Belle Dame Sans Merci. What can ail thee, wretched knight, alone and palely loitering? The sedge is withered from the lake, and no birds sing. Ah, what can ail thee, wretched knight, so haggard and so woe-begone? The squirrel's granary is full, and the harvest done. I see a lily on thy brow, with anguish moist and fever dew, and on thy cheek a fading rose fast withereth too. I met a lady in the mead, full beautiful, a fairy's child. Her hair was long, her foot was light, and her eyes were wild. I made a garland for her head, and bracelets too, and fragrant zones. She looked at me as she did love, and made sweet moans. pacing steed, and nothing saw all day long, for sideways would she lean, 
and sing a fairy song. She found me roots of relish sweet and honey wild and manna dew and sure in language strange she said I love thee true She took me to her elfin grot, and there she gazed and sighed deep, and there I shut her wild, sad eyes, so kissed to sleep. And there we slumbered on the moss, and there I dreamed, ah, woe betide, the latest dream I ever dreamed on the cold hillside. and princes too, pale warriors, death pale were they all, who cried, La belle dame sa merci hath the enthrall. I saw their starved lips in the gloam, with horrid warning gaped wide, and I awoke and found me here on the cold hillside. And this is why I sojourn here, alone and palely loitering, though the sedge is withered from the lake and no birds sing. In the final melodrama on tonight's musical experiment, the full resources of the symphony orchestra are employed to set the background, to intensify the emotional context, and to amplify your subconscious reaction by tonal color and dynamics. In this highly complex type of musical treatment, meaning and story are subordinated to the sound values of the poet's words and the orchestra's voices. From the Thousand and One Nights Entertainment, David Ross has selected... Inscriptions at the City of Brass, to which Bernard Herrmann has written this original score.
winter and learn the story of the rulers. They rested a little in the shadow of my towers, and they passed. They were dispersed like those shadows when the sun goes down. They were driven like straw before the wind of death. drunkenness of youth has passed like a fever, and yet I saw many things, seeing my glory in the days of my glory. The feet of my war horses drummed upon the cities of the world. I sacked great towns like a hot wind and fell like thunder upon far land. The kings of the earth were dragged behind my chariot, and the people of the earth behind my laws. But now... The drunkenness of youth has passed like a fever, like foam upon sand. Listen, O wayfarer, to the words of my death, for they were not the words of my life. Save up your soul and taste the beautiful wine of peace. About this table sat many hawk-eyed kings with many one-eyed kings to bear them company. But now, all sit in the dark and none are able to see. the glass of appearance, for a breath may shatter it, and illusion is a pit for the feet of men. I had ten thousand horses, groomed by captive kings. I had peculiar treasures, and the west and the east were two heads bowing before me. I thought my power eternal, and the days of my life fixed surely in the years. came to me from him who dies not. I called my captains and my strong riders, thousands upon thousands, with swords and lances. I called my tributary kings together, and those who were proud rulers under me, I opened the boxes of my treasures to them, saying, Take hills of gold, mountains of silver, and give me one more day upon the earth. But 
But they stood silent, looking upon the ground. So that I died. And death came to sit upon my throne. You have just heard Melodrum, a Columbia workshop experiment in the creative use of music for radio broadcasting. If you, the listener, the highly important half of our experimental work, have been interested in this rather technical musical and lyrical presentation, the workshop proposes in the very near future to broadcast a program consisting entirely of the incidental music composed during the past year for workshop dramatic presentations, much of which has been only half heard due to its primary function as incidental music, and which we feel as interesting and vital music deserving of its own performance. Such a program would include Mr. Herman's score of Dauber, Leith Stevens and Paul Sterrett's whimsical songs from Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, Charles Paul's chuckling walking theme from Never Come Monday, and many others. The workshop would like to know if such a broadcast would interest you. Asks again for your comments, criticisms, and suggestions on tonight's program. Please address your communications to the Columbia Workshop, care of the Columbia Network, New York City. The Columbia Workshop's presentation of melodrams featured David Ross and the original music of Bernard Herrmann, who also conducted the Workshop Symphony Orchestra. Next week at this same time, the Workshop will present the first radio broadcast written and directed by Pear Lorentz, brilliant director of the two great American documentary motion pictures, The Plow That Broke the Plains and The River. Next Saturday night at this same time, Mr. Lorenz will direct his own script, Echo Homo, Behold the Man, a documented exposition of the problem of technological unemployment. Kenneth Roberts speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.